Hello, hello everybody, it's Eric Freeze, and today I'm going to be showing you this Air King 9150K. Um, I, I have a feeling other people have these. I, I don't think they're that rare, but I don't recall seeing any videos of them. I know I've seen people post about these in the fan groups, so, though, so I can't imagine them being, like, extremely rare. This is one of the last gas variants of the Galaxy 2150. Um, I don't think this one is crazy old, but it's definitely was made prior to 2005 because it does have the Air King logo with the little insignia of the box fan, and it has, but it does have the grounded core, but it's not polarized. So this is definitely when Air King was kind of that industrial name. I believe this was made in the early 2000s, late 90s, um, pretty much when Lasco was selling the, I think it was the 2012 um, version, which is kind of like this, um, but it has the more typical Lasco logo on it, and it's the more flat face with the rotary dial that would be right here. Um, I, um, this one still uses the older style base that dates back to the 2150. Um, and it's kind of like a gray 2150 in a way. Um, it has the plastic rear grill, much like the 2012 um, has. I believe the motor housing is identical to the really late 2150s. I can't really remember what the motor housings looked like on the late model 2150s. I knew one of my family members had one um, that was somewhat similar to this. I think it had the square grills. His was a uh, Galaxy branded. Um, Tori has one, I know that. But bottom of the base is the light color gray. Let me see if I can get a date off of this. It's type 12-1. I was correct, this is a model 9150K. I wasn't sure if it was or not. It doesn't have the little notches on the base though for wall mounting like some of them do. The neck on this is a bit cracked here in the front. There's a bit of plastic deterioration on the base. Um, I got this from my workplace. It's just one of the closets. It, and it, I believe it was ori originally came from Goodwill for like a dollar or something. I mean not a dollar, like four dollars or something. I knew it had price stickers on it when I found it. Um, but when I got it, it was very stiff, really locked up, didn't work too well. Um, pretty much it's just a clone of the 2150. It does have the plastic grill on the back, um, with the metal grill that clips onto the front, and then this style of badge, which I believe Air King used all the way up until around 2010 or so, when they switched over. Maybe, I, I know some of their fans still use this badge, I'm not too sure. Um, and then Lasco, um, they made a variant of these up, uh, up until I think 2020 which used this base style, but instead of the push button switch, it had a rotary knob. Um, they made both a 12 inch and 16 inch version. I don't know what the model numbers for those are off the top of my head. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they had the same model numbers as the ones from the 80s and 90s, but um, not too sure. I'd like to get a hold of one of those. And then Air King still sells a nine inch version of this, which just kind of is like the, um, uh, I think the 2154, if I recall, which is the uh, nine inch oscillator. So, um, and you can still get those on eBay for like, I think, not eBay, the Amazons. Um, and you can get those for, I think around 50. Um, I believe they used to be around 30 and then, um, I think uh, Jordan Yu discovered them and bought a whole bunch of them, and some other collectors bought a whole bunch of them. I know uh, Lamont has one, I believe Tori has one, uh, there's a private collector I know and he bought a couple. Um, a few people in the fan groups have gotten them. Um, so when a lot of collectors bought them, I'm pretty sure there's probably a good 30 to 50 of those bought. And because everyone was buying them, the price of those went up. Um, so I know for a while it was about 70 something for those, and then it finally dropped back down to 50. If they dropped back down even more to about 40, maybe back down to the 30 or so, I'll 
pick one of those up um, and test it, but those fans are kind of junk, so I, I don't think it's worth my money, and I have a total of three of the um, 2154 counterparts. So, uh, pretty much, well, we'll do amps. PFC, this uses like the newer style, like Lasco tuna can style motor. So, um, it's not the, like the old ones. So I'm gonna guess this motor wasn't made in America. I'm gonna guess it was an import, but I'm not too sure. Here's low speed. I did do a full mechanical rebuild as well as a clean and service on this fan. Um, but the one thing that, that just, it didn't really look that good after I did the service. It still looks kind of grimy. It's definitely better than what it was, but I'm not too satisfied with the service. Like the guard itself looks like it has some, it, it's not really that shiny and the base is very yellow. <laughs> Here's medium. I will say this this fan performs pretty much identical to the old 2150s. It doesn't have that motor hum that a lot of the 2150s have, so. Um, and it tends to take a bit longer to get up to speed compared to the old ones. Those are two of the things I noticed. Um, but it's still very quiet and there's a lot of air. Uh, the 2150s, um, I would. I, I would say those are probably the best 12-inch oscillating fan ever made. Um, I know the Panasonic and KDK variants, those were also um, exceptional too, but I believe the Lascos kind of outdid those because they were a lot more common and really cheap, so. Here's high speed. The high speed gets right up to speed. The blade set's a lot lighter. Just a normal I think it's a polypropylene blade set compared to the acrylic blade set that the old ones used. I will say on high speed it doesn't feel like the air carries as much as the other speed. Now it might be a bit off because I do have the ceiling fans running. But it's still pretty good. On high speed we're drawing uh, 0.53 amps, uh, 60 watts, power factor of 91, so not bad. And then medium speed, we have 0.31 amps. Uh, 38 the watts. Oops. Low speed. We have 0.26 amps and um, 31 uh, watts. So I'd say it's very efficient. I can't remember what the efficiency was, but I know these are actually more efficient than the 9 inch models, which is kind of surprising. You would expect that the bigger fan would use more power than the smaller counterpart, but yeah. I guess that's how these worked. Um, I guess we'll uh, engage the oscillator. This one has a slower oscillation sweep than the amber models. I can't remember if the gray ones from the 90s had a slow sweep or not. The blue ones have a slow sweep. I'm not sure if my transition model brown one does. I'll have to make a video of that soon. I did use this fan a lot earlier this spring. Actually, in this room here, I had it in the windowsill. I had it on the uh, table, and I think I used it in the kitchen a bit, too. I might actually put this in the bedroom at some point. I'm not sure yet. A 
We'll definitely say these fans have the same durability as the 2150s. These might be a bit better because they have the uh, plastic back grill. Um, I know a lot of people are like, Ew, plastic, it's garbage, it breaks, it gets brittle. They actually like keep this in a good area where it's not exposed to a whole bunch of sunlight. It should be fine. And judging by how yellow the base is, I have a feeling this was in sunlight its whole life. Um, but it probably spent the last four or so years hidden in the closet. Um, so who knows if it was exposed to sunlight its whole life or not. It's still one of those fans I'd be willing to drop it out of the second story window and have a feeling it would be fine. Um, 2150s hold up really good to being bashed around. Uh, you can just check out uh, some of HPAD's destruction videos of 2150s and you can just see how durable they are. These fans can really take a beating. So, someone would be like, oh, why is this plastic fan marketed for commercial use? And I'd say, yeah, it, it is plastic, but these fans are still very durable. The air movement on these is really good. I'd like to find another one of these, maybe a later one, with the rotary knob. Um, I don't care if it's Air King or Lasco branded. I know they exist. I also have a Lasco uh, 2012 from this time period, but it needs a lot of work. I think it has some. Um, I think it has some issues with its gearbox, if I remember right, and the motor housing is cracked. So if I get that fan working, I'll make a video of that. I think that one's a 99 model, so it's kind of really, it's kind of early um, between those. I'm going to put the center and then I'll off the oscillations and power the fan off. I wouldn't say this thing's too special, but it's definitely an oddball. If collectors into these older Lasco oscillators, they definitely, I would say, recommend getting one of these for their collection if they find one. I really like 12-inch oscillating fans. Those are kind of my favorite. Um, actually, a 12-inch oscillating fan is kind of what started this whole hobby. So, I'm kind of biased, but I do really like collecting these because a lot of them are very unique, especially in the, um, in the uh, 80s and 70s. I'd say this one is definitely unique for how new it is. Uh, it's definitely made before 2005. I don't remember seeing a date code on the motor, so I, I don't know if it has a date. Maybe I found a date code and I said it before in some other video, but I'm not too sure. So thank you very much for watching and keep the breeze.